Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you where I get a lot of my inspiration from, and I'm just gonna highlight a couple of my favorite Instagram accounts to follow, because they're actually where I get a lot of my inspiration from. And if you didn't know by now, I'm actually hosting a giveaway for the villager Bo, the little lazy deer. That's all gonna be up on my Instagram account. You can find all the rules there. There's a few more days to still enter, so be sure to check that out. Just FYI, my Bo is not 100% clean. He's about 80% clean, I would say. I've given him a mod parka, and a quilted jacket, I believe. I know that's the thing a lot of people look for is like a completely clean, never given any items to this villager. But those are the only two things I've given him. He's pretty much brand new. I've had him for about three weeks now. Love the dude, love his design. He just really is not the perfect fit for my island. And I'll kind of show you why here in a second. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So what I think I'm gonna do here first is show you guys some new areas around my island. Uh, if you remember, this actually used to be like a park slash karaoke area. And then from the north up here, we had like this park area. So this has all stayed the same for the most part. I just changed the pathing to match the rest of the city areas that I've built out. Cause you know, these streets just take up so many tiles. I actually even went down on how many tiles they took up. I took away some of the ones that are like small details but it's still so many that it takes up. So I'm just like, I'm gonna use it as much as possible on the island. So the area over here to the left, this used to be just a flower field. And now I've wanted to make it into this uh, little dining, small city area. So you can see we have a couple buildings on the right hand side, a couple of servers to be used as buildings. Got a pagoda in the back. I actually came up on a ton of them recently, just making trades on Nukazan. And I wanted this space to be a little bit more walkable. Cause you know, I have another city skyline that I showed in my last video but it was just something to view you can't really interact with it walk around it so I really wanted to add a walkable element of the city to my island and a lot of inspiration from this comes from two Instagram accounts that I follow one of them being ACNH Lau's Island she inspired this whole walkable city area with the video that I saw of hers on her page recently and the other one being Kyoto Land dot island they actually posted their cityscape a couple of days ago and they use these really beautiful like white apartments and I knew I had to grab that code and implement it into here since I want it to feel neighborhoodly, kind of like an apartment building feel. And I'll show a little bit more from them here in a little bit. From here, uh, we just have a couple of more stalls, a little bit of market area that I'm building out. And then up through these stairs, you can kind of come to what I'm calling this little rooftop area. And this is a trend I've seen a couple people do. The biggest inspiration for this actually came from sleepy.kai on Instagram. It's either Kai or Kay, I'm not 100% sure. Katie, if you're watching this, you can correct me. But I saw on Katie's recently that she used this custom design almost as like a roof on top. And I just thought that was so great. So I implemented Bo's house here. And this is a huge reason why I'm actually giving away Bo. I want to bring in a new villager into this space that kind of fits this theme a little bit better. I've been kind of getting into buying amiibo cards recently. I got my first one in the mail the other day. I purchased Rolf here, who I hope you guys can see. I'm trying to check to make sure you guys can see this here. Rolf is already on my island currently, but I'm going to do a little bit of playing around and getting some villagers off my island uh, and then bringing them back. I actually bought my Rolf from someone on Nukazan and he wasn't clean and that's okay. He just has a couple of items I just don't really love that he still wears on a pretty consistent basis. A couple of pretty goofy ones too. So I'm just going to get rid of that Rolf with a different villager also. So I gotta wait for a couple of Amiibo cards to come in and get Bo over to whoever wins that giveaway. One of the coolest things I saw on Sleepy Kai's Instagram was actually that she put down a beach towel that she customized. And this is so sick. So she was actually able to lay down on this beach towel. This gives me so many vibes of just different animes. I've been watching a ton of anime recently, especially when I'm terraforming and building out new areas. And this just reminds me of so many Japanese style streets and neighborhoods that I see. And to put my own little twist on it, I love basketball. So I had to add this rooftop basketball kind of section. I will also make sure to have all of the codes for everything that you see here in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. And so now I'm just gonna show you all a couple of Instagram pages that inspire me a ton. All right, so on Instagram here, I'm gonna show you all a few folks that I really enjoy. We'll start with the ones that I mentioned in this video that inspired this new section on my island. So first up, we'll look at ACNH Lao's Island. 
I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Laura, if you're watching, you can also make sure to let me know if that was right or not. So I actually got to visit Laura's island recently. She had posted that her turnips were selling for a pretty high price. So I took a trip over there. And Laura's island was actually the island that inspired my cityscape in the first place. Laura has an incredible cityscape that she lights up with Nova lights. She's even created this little sitting area that you can sit and look at the cityscape. This is what really inspired me. You can see like how walkable her city is. She kind of made this uh, pastel city is what she's calling it. She even has a little video here of her running around in it. So look, it's just this cityscaped area that she can walk around. Look at that with the little TV there in the stall. It's such a great idea. And then hilariously, the other person that inspired that first little section there, uh, I mentioned there was those white apartments. Laura actually went to that person's island. Yep, so here's Laura with Island here beautiful look at the white apartments so now on kyoto land's page you can see this is so good look at the stars in the sky behind you can kind of see it barely but there's that antennae there so good just a way to like tuck and hide these little details in there to add color to it i see all these uh diner neon signs and i mean look at this it's just so good it's just such such a clean looking city area. Kyoto Land also did this incredible thing where uh, they made this memoirs of a geisha inspired area. <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than it's just so good. Kyoto Land also made this little video here. I highly suggest all of you go and watch this little video. It's so beautiful, really cinematic. On Instagram, there's this growing trend called cinematic ACNH, where a lot of people are posting really beautiful video content. Next up, like I mentioned, is sleepy.kai. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the post that really inspired me. It was this one right here. When I saw her laying down on that beach towel on top of the roofing, I just thought that was so genius. Kai just is next level when it comes to this stuff, I swear. I mean, look at this bathroom, this traditional Japanese style bathroom. Look at even the angle of this photo on the top. It's so good. That's the drying rack item and just how she captured it, it's just so perfect. I remember this photo too actually blowing my mind when I first came across Sleepy Kai's uh, Instagram page. It looks like this rest stop area almost. I'm not sure if that's the actual term that she was going for or that she was thinking of, but I just love this little moment here. I noticed this back on this photo that Okinawa.island was here and so I'm just gonna go give her another shout out while we're here. I mean, come on. Queenie is just a beast. If you're not following her already, you really need to. Queenie also has a YouTube page where she shows off her island and it's just so good. It's so beautiful. Look at these stone arches. These stone arches cost 90 stones each. And look how many they are. This is such a commitment. It's pretty crazy. And hilariously, she actually references another person in this post that I was already gonna show you. So I'm just gonna go to them. Uh, that's Halcyon.island. Halcyon? Halcyon? I'm not 100% sure. Iggy, if you're watching, you can also correct me here. Iggy creates another YouTuber, another content creator. I love his feed. He does multi-posts and he's created all these different areas here. So look at this giant battle scene here of Godzilla versus the robot. Look at the gnomes like running around almost in this little area. And I just love how he set up his page overall. It tells a story. It actually looks better when you're looking on your phone because there's not as wide of spaces in between each photo. But look at this. The little Mount Fuji in the background between the pagodas, if you look carefully enough. Another great account to follow, Joe Dot Crossing here. I mean, look at this. Look at this post office area. I didn't even know you could get cardboard boxes with details like that on there. This photo is so clean too. I just love it. And I'm not gonna lie, there are totally times when I hop on Instagram and I see this new thing that someone's built and I almost feel like I'm not good at this game. But that's not what the point of this game is. Just grab some inspiration from some islands that you enjoy and make it your own. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sorry I have to say that, but it really helps this channel out a lot. Don't forget about my giveaway on Instagram. Go ahead so you can win Bo as a villager for free. And I'll see you all in the next one.